Hello, I'm Montgomery County Executive Doug Duncan. You know, Montgomery County is a great place to live. We enjoy a very high quality of life here, and a big reason for that is our rich agricultural heritage. Agriculture, like no other industry, has consistently produced both aesthetic as well as economic benefits for all of our citizens. From locally grown farm fresh produce to a relaxing day in the clean country air, you sure don't have to be a farmer to appreciate what our farmland has to offer. I hope that after watching this video, you'll support our efforts to maintain this valuable asset for generations to come. In a county many people think of as suburban, with a population approaching one million people, Montgomery County is a center for business, shopping, and cultural events, with some of the best schools and public services in the nation. What you might not expect to find in the midst of such a cosmopolitan locale are the peaceful rolling acres of Maryland farm country. But farming is at the heart of Montgomery County. What exactly does agriculture mean to our county? Naturally, it includes rich harvests of corn, soybeans, hay, and other crops. But it is much more than that. This county is a state leader in the production of berries, pumpkins, and nursery plants. Montgomery County is horse country, with thousands of pleasure horses, state-of-the-art breeding and training facilities, and events of all kinds. And it's always the season for Christmas trees here. This county is home to some of the state's most successful tree farmers. Yet Montgomery County is still more than all that. It's a place where both farming and non-farming residents enjoy beautiful open spaces and activities the entire family can share. From picnics to the county fair to an autumn afternoon of picking pumpkins, agriculture touches all our lives. In Montgomery County, the roots of agriculture run deep. It is a heritage that predates the American Revolution. Farming has been a way of life in Montgomery County since the early 1700s, when the first European settlers arrived. They cleared woodlands to plant tobacco and food crops. By the time the county was formally established in 1776, farming was flourishing. During the Civil War, Montgomery County farms were so prosperous that both sides plundered them, stealing horses and food. But the farms survived. And as the 20th century dawned, they continued to serve the county. As recently as World War II, agriculture was the area's primary industry with the majority of land devoted to farming. But after the war, the county embarked on a period of unprecedented growth. Between 1946 and 1950, the population doubled. It doubled again in the next decade. Since then, it has continued to grow by leaps and bounds. And while we have accommodated this influx of new suburban residents with outstanding amenities, Forward-thinking civic leaders have also taken action to keep the county's proud farming heritage alive. As a result, farms continue to thrive, raising abundant crops and generations of Marylanders who love the land. People committed to passing on these treasures to their own children. When I first started farming in Montgomery County, it was all uh, farmland. Silver Spring was just a small town and Gaithersburg just had a few houses, Rockville and Damascus was real small. Now they, they have increased and the acreage of farmland has decreased but the amount that we produce in Montgomery County has increased. Well obviously agriculture is the foundation rock heritage of this county as a part of Maryland. And we want to maintain it. We want to maintain it for our children and for posterity. The preservation of rural land for agriculture is a high priority for Montgomery County. 
In 1980, the county government adopted the Preservation of Agriculture and Rural Open Space Master Plan. This master plan has several distinct goals. To conserve farmland for future food and fiber production, and to preserve agricultural and rural communities. The initiative includes a number of financial incentives to encourage landowners to set aside part of their property for agricultural use, or to simply keep it as open space. Through these programs, landowners play an active role in preserving Montgomery County's scenic areas, forests, wildlife habitats, wetlands, historic sites, and farm fields. To date, the preservation initiative protects one-third of the county's land as an agricultural reserve. That's over 93,000 acres. Montgomery County's devotion to preservation is also demonstrated by the work of the Agricultural Services Division. The division provides a wealth of services to farmers, from up-to-date information on technological advances to cooperative arrangements to marketing ideas. Montgomery County is committed to the preservation of agriculture and farmland for many generations to come. The county also supports programs for families, like 4-H, where kids learn by doing. They have fun, meet new friends, acquire new skills, and build self-confidence. They set and achieve goals and see their efforts rewarded. The county's home horticulture and master gardeners programs help adult residents grow their love of gardening into more than a hobby. Through these programs and others, county leaders support our farmers and all county residents. They raise awareness of the role of agriculture and build respect for the importance of our land resources. But we reap another benefit when agriculture thrives, income. Though farmland has decreased in area, advances in agricultural science have increased efficiency, greatly increasing per acre yields. Agriculture adds about $350 million to the county's coffers and employs thousands of citizens. Yet farmers make little demand on public infrastructure. On farmland, there is less need for public sewer and water police and fire services, schools, paved roads, sidewalks, and public lighting. All citizens benefit from, from the farms. The preservation of, of farming and agriculture will yield these beautiful open spaces that everyone can enjoy. Farming in Montgomery County is not just for farmers. It's for all of us. We all have something to gain from agriculture today and in the years to come. For so many reasons, Montgomery County agriculture is a wonderful legacy to be passed along to future generations. But what will be the future of Montgomery County's farms? That is up to all of us who live here. Agriculture can continue to play a vital role in realizing the county's economic and environmental goals. But only if we all stay informed and support efforts to preserve agriculture. Whether we live in Bethesda or Clarksburg, whether we raise horses or take an occasional weekend horseback ride, only we can ensure the continued prosperity of Montgomery County agriculture. Well, it's very important to me and it's important to my family. I think it's really critical that we all value nature and that our children have a chance to experience what the land is really for, like where our food comes from, and to um, have an opportunity to see animals in their natural habitat. Well, it's wonderful to be able to come out on a beautiful day like today, drive a short distance, and take our new son into a pumpkin patch to celebrate his first Halloween. Everyone benefits from ag preservation in Montgomery County, whether you're a bird watcher, a biker, or a hiker, it's there for everyone's enjoyment. There's a lot at stake. The decisions we make now will shape what happens in the coming years. Certainly the nature of farming will change with time but all of the county's residents can play a part in preserving one of America's most successful and attractive agricultural regions. 
We can do that by maintaining an environmental balance in our county and supporting those programs and leaders that make agriculture a top priority. Only we can ensure that agriculture in Montgomery County remains a living symbol of a proud heritage and a promise of hope for the future.